available expert. Please report to room A9. Hello guys, Acto here and welcome to Encrypted Time Zones. The model module look like there will be a bunch of circles around the outside and a big circle in the middle cycling letters. The aim of this module is to first decrypt what this is showing and it will show a certain time in this city. And then we will convert that to a different time zone and then re-encrypt that into a different display. So let's just get started on this. For starters, we can see the a set of letters cycling through the middle. And if you've seen, if you might have spotted, this is spelling out a city name, namely Philadelphia. We can keep this in mind for later on, because we will be able to see that again after we've switched into submission mode. But the main part is, this is actually representing a certain time, but of course, looking at this, it looks like nonsense. That's because it's been encrypted by these rules. So first we're going to go down the if column, find all of the cases that are true. So, serial number contains a vowel, yes. Serial number does not contain a vowel, we know that's not true because we did the one above it. At least three battery holders, no. At least one D battery, no. More lit than unlit, yep, meaning these two aren't true either. There is a prime number of several modules on the bomb. I only have this module on it, so it's, there is not a prime number because one is not prime. There is a parallel or serial port. We have both, so yes, there is parallel or serial port. DVID or RJ, yes. No need it, yep. And we do not have a time zone module. Next, we're going to look in the positions which have a letter in the serial number. So we have P, which toggles this column. Well, not toggles, just means that this column is valid. X is not in any of them. 9 is here. E is in that one as well. Same with G. And then 5 was in this column. So we're only looking at the second and the fifth columns. So, now if we read across, if condition is true, then we'll be toggling this colour in these positions on the clock. So let's note down positions on the clock from 1 round to 12 in RGB notation. So RB is magenta, RG is yellow, GB is cyan, and then Red is red, blue is blue, green is green, white is all three, and black is none of them. So this is also RG, GB, nothing, all of them, all of them, RG, all of them, red only, red only, blue only. And now we should be toggling as it tells us. So, first of all, we're going to be toggling red in 1, 3, 6, and 7. Toggling just means turn it off if it's on and turn it on if it's off. So, 1, 3, 6, and 7. For this one, we're going to be toggling everything in 1, 2, 5, and 11. So, this becomes this. This becomes this. Five becomes this. And eleven will become this. Next, we're going to be talking red in three, five, eight, and nine. Three, five, eight, and nine. Turning green in 2, 10, 11, and 12. 2, 10, 11, 12. Finally, turning red and blue in 1, 3, 8, and 10. It gives us.
this. All the decrypted lights should now have a single base colour, as you can see, GB is in pretty much all of them, apart from two of them, which is what we expected. To determine which light shows the hour hand, use the base colour as the row and the indicator has gone to see what component the hour hand toggles. Not what colour the hour hand is, what colour the hour hand toggles. So, the base colour is GB or cyan. And we have two indicators, meaning it toggles red. The one that toggled red was 8, so our hour hand is 8. Meaning that our minutes hand was the other one that's different, 11. So now, since we have all of this information we needed, and we know we're looking at Philadelphia, we can press the middle to get our goal city. Nuke. Nuke in Greenland. We're going from Philadelphia in USA to Nuke in Greenland. Which is minus 4 to minus 2. When it would be adding 2 to the hours. Or much more simply, just going from 8 to 10. And we can represent that here by having the red move down to. So this is what we're going to be now encrypting after we've converted from one time to the other one. I know it's on. I know it, yeah, yeah. Minus four to minus two is plus two. Do be careful with the negative numbers to not go the wrong way, of course. And remember, you're going to be going from this city to the one that's shown on here. Not the other way around, so don't get that wrong either. One more thing before I get on to the rest of it. Cities like Los Angeles and Salt Lake City will be shown as one word. So just be aware of that. So, now we know what we're doing. We now need to encrypt our gold city time by just going through these rules and doing what it tells us. Step one. It's a lit S and D or unlit car, we don't have that. But in that case we would have switched all the even number positions, so two, four, six, eight, ten and twelve, to magenta, regardless of what colour they were. So R B. If the minutes hand for the gold city or funny enough, the initial city as well, it was an arrow of positions 3, 6, 9, or 12. It was not, it was on 11. But we'll be talking the prime number of positions 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11. If the Gold City does not contain an E in its name, the Gold City does in fact not contain an E in its name, N U U K, we're going to toggle all. The we're going to toggle green on all lights. So we're going to switch the status of green on all of these, which is basically going to be turning all of them off. Apart from this one where it gets turned on. Okay. The Gold City contains an eye in its name, it does not, but we will do the same with the blue lights. If the UTC for the Gold City is an even number, it is, it's minus 2. Toggle the red on all odd number of positions. So, red, red, red. For all of the odd number positions only. Shift all the lights. Shift all the lights clockwise x spaces with x is the last digit of the serial number. This one will apply no matter what. We just basically move the bottom five, because that's the last digit of our serial number, to the top. One, two, three, four, five, yep. We're going to move these up to the top. So that's basically what this rule is asking us. If the serial number does not have exactly one vowel in it, it does have exactly one vowel in it, so we can ignore this rule. 
but in other words, we'll be talking red and green in positions whose numbers are more to a 4, or 4, 8, and 12. If there's a stereo RCA pole, there is a stereo RCA pole. And if you look down here, that means this one's not going to be true. If there's a stereo RCA pole, to a green and blue on positions 3 through 8. So we're talking green and blue on these ones. So G, these both go, this one becomes G, this one just becomes G, with the R does there. Same with this one, and same with this one. Let me just check out the little from three, three to eight. Yep. If there's no stereo out of the port, we already said there was. But that would be just the same with blue or nine through twelve. The Gold City UTC is higher than minus three. It is, minus 2 is higher than minus 3. So red on positions 1, 2 and 8. Red, no red, and no red. If there is a clock or stopwatch on the ball, we do not. But that would tell you everything on 6 and 12, to the top of the ball. This is our encrypted display, which will be submitted into the model, module. But the input is slightly interesting. When the minutes, second, the tens, seconds of the seconds is a certain number, that will toggle a certain colour value. So zero, the zeros in the thirties will toggle red. The tens in the forties be green, will be green, and the twos in the twenties and the fifties are going to be will be blue. So that's how we're going to input it. So looking here, when we're coming up to. Let's wait for red and we need to put it on 1, 3, 4, 6, 10, and 12. 1, 3, 4, 6, 10, 12. For, for, for green, we need it on three. But actually, we'll probably miss that one, so. Blue is one, two, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then for green, we're looking for three, five through eight, and that's it. So three and then five through eight for when we hit a green one. Three and Five, six, seven, eight, and we can quickly check. This makes sense. Magenta, blue, yellow, red, green, yellow, green, green, blue, magenta, blue, magenta. Yes. So if we have done this right, this should be what we're submitting. And we get so much all. So that was encrypted time zones. Some extra things is you will need to know how to combine RGB colours and the graph will be given at the bottom of the manual. But this is quite a simple concept, but involves quite a lot of work and might have quite a few areas of error. Just remember how to convert between the time zones. I don't think any of them require you to change the, the minutes here. Be careful with these rules, be careful when saying the lights, and then that's about it. So hopefully encrypted time zones makes a bit more sense now. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. I'll see you later.